Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you could turn any audio device to send wireless audio via Bluetooth medium using this bad boy. All right, so let's just jump into the video. Guys, this Bluetooth transmitter and receiver device was sent to me via a company called eTech City. So I'll show you the power of this transmitter and receiver uh, dongle and uh, I'll show you the applications it can be utilized for. So when I'm reviewing wireless audio uh, devices like this one, I check for uh, three major points, which is their application they can be utilized for, uh, the audio quality and obviously the latency when it comes to distance. Uh, so uh, let's check the first uh, uh, application it can be utilized for. Uh, so basically what this device is, it's a Bluetooth dongle and it is a transmitter and receiver. Uh, so it's a really good design as you can see right here, it's a nice little battery size uh, device right here and um, it has this tab right here so you can turn it into a transmission or receiver so TX means transmission and uh, RX means receiver so uh, if you uh, turn it to transmission like TX so if you have got like a non Bluetooth uh, uh, television at your home and uh, you want to basically uh, listen the audio of your TV into your headphones like wireless Bluetooth headphones or any wireless Bluetooth uh, speaker uh, this can be utilized for that purpose so I'll show you how to do that so basically I've taken an output from the audio 3.5 mm audio jack uh, from my TV and I'm just gonna plug this into this so there is the power button which is a multi-functional button and uh, you just turn it on you just press it once and uh, it will turn on and as you'll turn on the blue light will uh, start flashing so just leave it there for time being get your uh, wireless bluetooth speaker or uh, headphones and just switch that on so for this demonstration, I'm using Harman Kardon as usual. This is a beautiful speaker. It's when, uh, the first time you want to pair this device uh, with your wireless uh, Bluetooth headsets or with your wireless Bluetooth speaker, uh, then what you do is just press the power button twice and uh, it will turn on the Bluetooth uh, scanning mode. And uh, go on your speaker and obviously do the same. Turn on the uh, wireless Bluetooth scanning on your speaker or headphones and uh, now it has successfully uh, paired with my Harman Kardon Bluetooth speaker. Uh, so uh, once the blue light is stable uh, blue then that means it has paired with your speaker. So now I'm just gonna go ahead play a track uh, from uh, my YouTube or from uh, YouTube I'm just gonna play a track and uh, obviously the audio would be output why am I Harman Kardon? Okay, so let's just play this track and let's just listen to the audio quality. So basically I'm sending the audio via this to this. Like you trying to get stuck in the air If you feel it so then it don't care Shorty beat in the face in the mirror Up in the air I want you to jump Jump, 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 jump up in the air, I want you to jump. Jump. Like you trying to get stuck in it. In the air. Okay guys, so uh, by doing this, basically uh, you can turn any non-Bluetooth audio source uh, to a Bluetooth transmission uh, device. Uh, it just doesn't apply to uh, television, it could be any audio source, like it could be a condenser mic. 
uh, I have tested that with the condenser microphone. Obviously in transmission mode, uh, the built-in pre-amplification is disabled. So you can't turn on or turn down the volume from here. So you can only turn uh, the power on and that's it. That's how it works in transmission mode. It just transmits the audio. No uh, pre-amplification is available in transmission mode. But uh, pre-amplification of this device is obviously available in receiving mode, which I'll show you next how to do it. So this was one application. And now obviously second application is if I wanna uh, play the same audio uh, from my iPhone or from my basically Android phone. So for this example, I'm just gonna use my Android phone and uh, uh, so I'm gonna power off the device I'm gonna power it off <clears throat> and I'm gonna put this into receiving RX and now I'm gonna disconnect this cable for this demonstration I'm gonna connect this to my uh, sound system here so what they have provided uh, with this uh, Bluetooth transmission is a 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm jack or mini jack and uh, which is uh, quite a really good quality one and uh, then they have provided uh, RCA phono uh, left and right to uh, mini jack female adapter cable and then this is the charging cable and then this is just a mini jack to mini jack uh, audio cable right here so uh, if you want to use it in trans uh, sorry receiving mode then obviously you need to connect this output of here via 3.5 mm to your audio system so uh, the way I'm gonna do it is obviously I'm just gonna connect this to this 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm audio input and then just input on my audio mixer and turn the device on as usual okay I've turned the device on I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth from my phone obviously it's switched on and uh, it would appear as uh, EATR2 that's the model number of this Bluetooth uh, transmitter and receiver so I have already paired with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect with it and it's connected so let's just listen to the audio so I'm gonna play the same track off YouTube Alright guys, so I'm playing the same track now, but obviously via my audio system right here. Um, okay guys uh, in terms of audio quality obviously it's retaining its audio quality uh, obviously uh, what's happening is this it has a built-in uh, AD and DA chip so analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion so obviously uh, via Bluetooth when it's receiving the audio from my phone it's receiving digital audio and uh, when I have taken the output from the 3.5 mm jack and connected it to the uh, audio interface input then obviously it's converting that digital audio into analog audio and uh, obviously then when the audio is output via 
uh, my speakers, studio monitors right here, then it's analog audio. Uh, so it's a lot of conversion happening at the same time as well from analog to digital and digital to analog, uh, but it's retaining its uh, audio quality. So it's, it's it has got good built-in AD and DA chips, analog to digital and digital to analog chips. Uh, so that's for sure. I've just tested and demonstrated the audio in front of you. Uh, okay, uh, another application of this would be to uh, fit it in your car stereo, like uh, uh, to play back music and uh, obviously to output the sound of your audio calls, uh, which I believe via iPhone, it's not going to be available, but via Android phones, it would be available. Uh, so uh, these are the three major applications I could think of. And if you guys, you have liked this video. If you have, then please click on the like icon. Uh, let's aim for a thousand likes for this video and uh, if you haven't you can always dislike this video uh, If you have learned anything and like this video share the video uh, Like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next video. Take care. Bye. Bye